from the Sienjo Juming, a ship known for its unrivaled craftsmanship. As the records show, some 60 or 70% of all the Sienjo's armory comes from the artisans of the Juming. Ever since I was little, I've studied sword mastery and weapons forging with my grandpa. Uh, I mean, the flaming heart, Kwai En. Grandpa's always been nice to me. He loves me, you know? Miss Yun Lee is a talented young lady fascinated with swords. She sees renowned swords as treasures. Some say she can even communicate with them directly. To her, swords are more honest than people. She lives by the phrase, swords make acquaintances, fighting makes friends. Oh? <laughs> it so happens that on the Law Fu there is an able young man with a similar love of the sword. I have a feeling you two might get along. You mean Yan Qing? He doesn't know the first thing about swords. He collects them like they're going out of fashion, then never uses them. Ugh, I can hear those blades crying from here. <laughs> Seems like you guys don't share everything in common. Mm-hmm. And not to mention, see the giant sword I use? Forged him myself. He might not be complete, but he's already stronger than anything out there. Weapons of this caliber usually get their own name. <laughs> what do you call them? Not bad, Feathers. Finally, someone who understands swords. I gave him a unique name for the ages. Old Metal. Huh. <laughs> it has a ring about it. I like it too. <laughs> Me and Old Metal have a deep connection. Every time I get into a scrap, I ask Old Metal, which one do you want to strike? Old Metal usually says something like, let's start here and end there. To which I reply, oh, all of them? All right. <laughs> Old Metal's adorable manner belies his formidable stature. Yunli might be young, but she's confident and unafraid to speak her mind. It's time we took a look at her skills on the battlefield. As a physical type character following the path of destruction, gentle persuasion isn't really my style. When using my skill, I restore my own HP while dealing physical damage to a single target and adjacent enemies. What really sets Yunli apart in combat is the way she counters the enemy. When attacked, she immediately launches a counter on the attacker, dealing damage to the target and adjacent enemies. There's a grudge and knows friend from foe. She doesn't mess around. You gotta use the enemy's strength against them. After using my ultimate, I acquire the parry state, which allows me to sustain lower damage and taunt all enemies. In addition, my ordinary counter is upgraded to powerful counter, which deals higher damage. <laughs> you seem well versed in the art of the counter. One assumes that surprise attacks during exploration aren't a concern for you? <laughs> nope. When using my technique, I obtain a special effect for a set duration. If an enemy launches an attack during that duration, the attack is blocked. And upon entering battle, I launch a powerful counter on a random enemy. Imagine you've hardly regained your footing when a girl with a giant blade comes right in straight for you. <laughs> Which reminds me, in version 2.4, Trailblazers will experience the Swords to Plowshares companion mission. Granddad and granddaughter arrive on the Law Fu from the Zhu Ming, bringing with them a prize much sought after among the War Dance competitors. Wait. You press something else too? Let's see! Uh, <clears throat> Let's save that for another time, shall we? Now remember, Albert, the prize is for the war dance champion, not the host. So if Yun Li is also set to compete, and were she to prevail, then wouldn't the prize return home with her to the Zhu Ming? <laughs> not so fast now. La Fu has something to say about that. The Zhu Ming may have brought the prize, but they ain't leaving with it. <laughs> Watch us. Easy now. External heat needs inner cooling, as they say. <sighs> Sounds like another difficult challenge for Yang Ching. <laughs> <laughs> you guys sound so... Oh, right. 